And some of that wildfire smoke will make its way over east across the United States this week. Kristen, will we see or feel any impacts from it here? Oh, we could see a little bit of a hazy sky, Erica, but remember last summer we had a pretty big impact with air quality from the Canadian wildfires. Not expecting that much trouble from this, but watch our uh, map here, our future cast in a mode where we can detect the smoke in the atmosphere. This bright orange and yellow plume that will be heading east toward Illinois and Indiana as early as Tuesday. We get a little bit of haze and smoke in the air tomorrow, but it'll be very high up in the atmosphere, so it shouldn't cause us any uh, air quality problems, which is great news. Maybe just a little bit more haziness that you'll notice for now we're pretty good with air quality but boy the temperature was warm today we're still at 91 in Pittsburgh Beaver and Greensburg Catanning Butler Indiana all reporting 90 right now even Somerset in the mid 80s Zeelanople West Mifflin Connellsville still at 88 degrees our normal high is in the lower to mid 80s so we're ending July very much above normal where we've spent a lot of the month hour by hour tonight we're down only to about 80 81 by 11 o'clock and then the mid to lower 70s by the wee hours of the morning. Still waking up to partly sunny skies tomorrow. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, but then clouds begin to roll in and the pattern changes. Our muggy meter that'll be back in effect working hard this week today. Very low dew points and humidity levels. So even though it was hot, it wasn't muggy and sticky. Tomorrow that changes. We get dew points rising up into the 60s and by the end of the week we'll have an almost tropical feeling air mass. As we round out July and start August, the long range temperature outlook for the first week of August doesn't really change. A very good chance that we will have above average temperatures. For now, we're still in between a couple of systems under the ridge of high pressure, giving us clear skies tonight. Tomorrow that starts to change. High pressure moves off to the east. Our wind flow shifts around out of the south and southwest. We get clouds rolling in as early as around 9 or 10 a.m. By lunchtime, we could see a couple of showers start to bubble up. You'll notice the humidity increasing, but that also means that we have a better chance for some much needed showers. Even a few isolated thunderstorms by around dinner time into the early evening. Not a lot of measurable rain, but a good chance that we'll all see a couple of showers. Tuesday, a slightly better chance for a few showers or isolated thunderstorms and an even better chance with another system moving through on Wednesday. As far as how much rain to expect, well, this is through Wednesday evening. If we're lucky, we could get about a half to three quarters of an inch of rain, and we desperately need that. 64 tonight, mostly clear and warm. And here's your seven day forecast. It's pretty much the same all week long. Temperatures in the mid 80s tomorrow. A chance for scattered showers and storms in the afternoon. Tuesday, a slight chance. Wednesday, a better chance for scattered showers and storms. And then as we head into the weekend, a very good chance we could get a good soaking of rain on Saturday.